Hello there. So when I work on AI animations, I have a few problems that constantly on my way. And it's actually not just related to AI animations, it's also related to other video creation animations, but AI specifically. One of them, it is width and height, because you need create only in a smaller size. You, of course, you can run after through the upscaler to make it bigger, but for some reason, I never find good upscaler here. It's make blurry, the reduce details and everything. So it does not work well. And this is small size constant problems, teeny tiny. And I want to work with a 4K, I want to work with high resolution. So this is one thing. Another problem, it is these keyframes. The problem is we creating about what is a 12 on output. You have a 12, 15 keyframes. Usually you want to have a 24 frames for the film or 30 or 60 even frames per second. But when you start creating this, you doubling, tripling how much it's need to render. So this is take a quite a bit time. And of course, you can, of course, going with the inside interpolations, but I found out it does not work well. It's just like two frames blending on top. Another one's not sharp image does not look good. So right here, some other companies come with this a uh, video upscalers and other things. You know, I don't know, does it snake oil or magic tools? And I try one and I do like it. It is Topaz AI. But recently they come up with a new version, which is supposed to be even better. Topaz AI, video AI 4. So I put it on a test. In this video, what I want to do, I'm going to take a bunch of videos that I created and I created this way. I have it, my master 4K 30 frames per second master video. Next, you can see what I did. I created 16 frames. I created 720 uh, pixels. So I changed size, I changed the resolution, everything. I even created this animations, AI animations original. So I think it is this kind of animations. There you go. And we'll try to upscale this. And most important, I want to see frames interpolations. This is currently 15 frames per second going. Okay, I want to see how does it perform? Does it give me again sharp edges? What does? And of course, we'll try like full blowing test with videos. Just overall, I want to see does it real good or it's just like a bunch of online um, companies who says, hey, we're doing upscale. But in reality, they don't. It's look very horrible. And I want to just let you know upfront, I'm not sponsored by them. This is application I purchased by myself. Um, if you're interested, I'll leave it link below. It is my affiliate link, honestly. If you purchase it, give it something to me. But I'm here not to sell these tools. Again, I buy it with my money. I want to give it honest review. Does it work or not? And tell you the truth, something performed good and some obviously not. So let's go check that. And I'm going to scale down because I'm rendering a smaller screen. Scale from 4K. Here's the image. It was filmed inside um, Galaxy Edge at uh, Disneyland. And uh, this is part of the filming I'm doing for my other channel. By the way, if you're interested with this channel, I'll give it a link below. Um, I just work on another project to create videos. So if you're interested, more than welcome to if you want to support. But anyway, look right here. So we have a very sharp image, 30 frames per second. And it's producing for us 4K. So I can see it's actually work very good. This is will be our master. Notice no motion blur if you notice between the frames. We don't have any motion blurs on the edges. It's actually going very smooth. No ghosting as well. Here, example, this image file, what I did, I remove any color correction, anything, it's anamorphic. And you can notice this is done 720 with 16 frames per second. Okay, so this is definitely, you can see how it's jumping between frames. And also we have it much less resolution. We also have it 16 frames 4K and I am so I have it full HD 16 frames. It's one eight. So we'll try this one. This give it a little bit better resolution. Okay, first what we're going to do, 
we're going to take this 7 to 16 frames and we'll try to upscale. And if you don't use it before, in Topaz it's easy. Just take file, drop right here on your left. It will be your original. And on the right, it will be what you want to convert. On your right side, you have it very easy. You can preset if you need it set this way. But usually I just used video input, set what format I want it frame rate if needed it will also select interpolations this frame interpolations what does it's one bit calculating between the frames so add additional frames and this is one that's give it most problem because when i do ai animations i usually do like 12 frames per second and i want to convert in 24 so when i do this it does create this blurring kind of effect but we'll check how it's work on that tapas if it does properly well or not and we also can create slow motion. It's mean if you're going down and create like 120 frames. So similar things. It will do in the relations only this. And of course, upscaling. I say it's very simple. You just drop in, select and export that way. OK, so let's go ahead and check what it did with our 16 frames, 720 and upscale to. Let's go look on a bigger size. First, we're going to look with the 720 upgrade in the frames. And if I'm looking at frames, actually, it's work very well. I don't see any ghosting, anything going. Seems like it's working fine with this. OK, we also have an original 4K. So let's go see 16 frames, 720. And I have 120 frames per second, and it is 1080 so that one could be interesting test okay you'll notice what's happening at this time let me just shrink a little bit so we can preview in a window notice right here we have it it's 120 frames with no question you can see how it add frames and i do really impress with the frames because it does not seems like do any ghosting there look on this how it's going However, we do start having this compression and it's because upscaling going with very small, very common problem could be occurred right here. If you see this element like right here, this is definitely a problem with little bit upscaling, at least on this algorithm. But the big plus, it does render frames perfectly. I don't know how they're doing, but if you notice, it's creating very good on a framing it's not blending frame over frame so it's work very well in this case so we'll try upscale different way and see how that will work now also right here still be 720 only 30 frames so we frame interpolation done on this and just to be sure we can go inside the tools media information go on a codex and right here you can see it's of 30 frames from so from 60 and 30 frames and actually this does very good job i'm seriously i'm very surprised how well it's at frames it's no ghosting you can see right here clean and nice upscale was a little bit problem but i th let's look on a 4k and one thing i found out when you work and you create like bigger 4k it's for some reason perform a little bit better so right here is our 4k and it's quite a bit large size. Actually, it's not bad because we can see see right here a little bit noise creating. And right with the ladder, what do you see? Lines, it's have a little bit fringing kind of going around there. Hmm. So it does create a little bit an upscale problem when we're going from 720 to 4K. And it's no question it will happen all the time when you try to do this. So and I run a bunch of different tests like this, and it's all was about in some cases, if you're using um, a lot of them select properly algorithm and they have it like three different algorithms, AI algorithms, some of them perform a little better and reduce that noise. And I'll show you in a second with the settings how you can actually minimize some of that stuff. But let's look right now on the AI animation. So right here is original AI animation. And it's about same size. So let's go ahead, look on the information codex right here. And you can see it is 912 by 24 frames. So I was a little bit nicer to myself. I did not do 12 frames per second. But again, it's kind of 
weird awkward size let's go ahead and see how that perform with um upscale to hd we have 120 frames we'll see on this and 4k so first it just upscale to 4k with 24 frames and i actually look it's very impressive upscale on this one you can see it does a very nice job on details it's not blurry it's still be kind of sharp going around so i think it's work very good in this case let's go next try upscale to hd with 120 frames per second and you know what let me try one thing pause and we'll go be sure we're going to media information codex it is 120 frames and it's a full hd size Okay, let's close this one. I want just a little bit resize so it's fit our window, preview window right here. And let's step through frames. You know, look at this. This is probably better performance. You can see how it's added frames, 120 frames. I don't know how they're doing, but right here, just a little bit, I see on the fingers. But now, generally, it's going with the AI. So it's actually add all those frames, add a lot of frames, and it's still very sharp, actually, almost state to original. Sometimes I can see a little bit blurring, but it's in very acceptable range. And we can specify also to have a little bit more sharpness to add to this. I think right there, very nice. I think it's done actually a good job. Okay, let me go again, try. And you can see it's much smoother when it's go 120 frames, of course. It's very smooth liquid almost animations going around okay so done very good and one thing what i tried also just let's create everything because if you look in the settings we can also have it um stabilizations we can have it motion de blur from frame inter all this stuff so what i done again i took one of my file that recorded and you can see it's a little bit jiggery. It, it was on stabilizer, hence blurry, but it's still kind of going up and down. It's not bad at sharp details going right there. See how cable's sharp. We can actually stop. Let's go a little bit back. Like right there, you see the cables, texture, and this actually it's good resolution. So let's see what it does when we convert this one to maybe 100. Yeah, let's go right there. I think this is with everything. So we have it stabilization and we have it stuff. And it's actually look very good. It's definitely look more stable. It's look way less jiggery. I don't know if you remember or not. The camera was a little bit shaking. Sharpness still be, let me preview right here. Yeah, it's still be nice cables. Okay, so it's still preview. Okay, texturing. And I think it is actually does very good on that stabilization i only notice right in the summer events right there you can maybe see it's like liquidy right there you can see like almost it's passing through the waves right there look again right here you see how image so it's it definitely processing that image definitely try to process the frame but add a little bit liquidity so it's need work a little bit more maybe on a settings let's speak about settings let's go see what we have here of course, we have it our original, we have it our processor, we can preview them. Um, you can queue multiple and tell you um, how I use it very often, actually. I get footage from, um, like, creating some nice relaxation videos, yes? So you take a footage, and footage usually on a stock that you purchase, you can distribute, maybe very short. I want increase the link. So what I do, I put it here, and I in all the and I add extra frames so it's much longer and this way you can create very slow nice movements and increase the link of any video so I actually used all the time this so right here we have it our has be, um, said before we have it our preview kind of presets and you can create your own presets if you need it this is what important our video if we need crop to specific size we can input our what we have it and it's kind of actually let us preview if we need it but we'll just leave it 
Um, I do like rotation because sometimes the vertical may be kind of going wrong, so you want to change. Output resolution is a preset. Um, when you're going with 8K, it's actually support 8K. You need to change format from MP4, so that's what I'm using right now. And frame rate original, 30 frames, and we can actually down frame it or upscale to 120. Stabilization, we have it after crop or full frame. Kind of full frame, a little bit better. It is, um, if you're using like DaVinci and you use then DaVinci stabilization, it's actually cropping in and you lose a lot of real estate. So right here, it does a little bit better. It's a render for you some of those elements. So it's kind of very nicely how it does. Okay, we have a string of the stabilization. 50 is like middle and we can have it very stabilized. And I maybe try to do this, but when I tried before, it does create a little bit more of those, you know, kind of liquidy looking almost. So we have also additional connections apply this with okay let's go to motion de blur and this one test was not bad it's reducing and i found out sometimes when you add frame interpolations and if you see any blurring between the frames here is may help you also to put a deploying on this as i said frame interpolations what between frames we have two frames we need to create one between them and it what does notice it's covered multiple different uh, models, AI yeah, models, Apollo work very well. You can experiment with other if you need it. Also, additional enhancement. If you need, go from interlaced to progressive video. Interlaced, it's keep when other ones lane, and it's going from old CRT monitor. Most now LCD, you never even use this. You don't need to worry about that. But if you have like old video, you need convert or pretend you're making like old video, then you can convert one way or another. Also notice it's got plenty of the AI models. You can try it different ways. Okay, as parameters, all this. And if you want to add a grain additional to yours, create like older movie film. And in some cases, adding grain do help in process because grain will hide some of those. Um, if you remember when I showed it's have it like liquidy things, the grain over surprisingly, but it's fixed some of those mistakes as well as when we did this um, enlarged to 4K and you can see little lines as it's upscale. If you add 4K, if you add grain, it actually will smooth them and you don't see it. They don't jump, they're kind of hiding almost there. So overall, I think it is improvements and I check against the previous version. So they have a new models, new update. It does truly utilize the AI model to analyze and creating those frames, which is actually very impressive how they're done with this. Um, if you have it, it's a free upgrade right now if you purchased before. So just be sure if you purchase, be sure if you have it applied for free upgrade. You don't need rushed and buy it because say, this is just my tool I want to share with you. And I do like it because I used a lot in my processing and production. I hope you find this as well useful. Thank you for watching. Remember, check links down below and have a great day.